look what you can see. You can actually see floor space today. I've actually tied up my huge big pile of clothes. And I've actually, look at that, tied it up. <laughs> Skateboard, penny board. I don't know why, but I feel like vlogging down here. In about five minutes, I'm going to head off to a local town. This town I've not really drove to um, before. I've drove through, but not into. I'm going to go to a local sports shop. I'm after some sports cricket equipment. Um, so I really need some more new ones, new uh, pads and gloves and a helmet for the new cricket season. The stuff that I have got will would do me, but um, it's quite old. Well, it's not old, it's just ripped, and it's just not... I just can't play with it. And with Nets coming up on the 1st of February, um, I think it's best that I go out and get some new stuff. Um, I don't want to spend loads of money, though, so it could be a little, it could be a little trip out. If I, don't, if I see some, I'll buy it. If I don't, I don't. Um, we'll have to see what happens. Ah, oh, fell over. Oh, maybe there's something Neil down there. So my Google Maps is like, make a U-turn. Please, make a U-turn. <laughs> Lol. So I've been to get myself some cricket gear. I've only bought pads and helmets because it's pretty expensive, but it's really good quality. Um, I think I spent like 80, 90 quid on just a helmet and pads, but it's needed. Um, I probably won't buy gloves. I'll probably use the old gloves that I've got for now and find a cheaper pair of the same brand of pads. I already have a bat and everything else I don't really need, so yeah. That's probably all I'll purchase this year for cricket. It's time to head home and get some dinner. I'm supposed to be saving money, but I've bought, this month I've bought a skateboard, cricket stuff, and then we're going to wheat out. For dinner, sausage rolls and flapjack, I think. I actually came up with a genius idea last night of how I can drive with my cameras standing still in the same place pretty much. Not flopping over and not doing anything. Basically I got the video hooks onto from my tripod and I put that on stand, obviously that's flat, it stays flat and I put it on top of my, obviously my dashboard and now it's staying flat like it is now, which means I can talk more while I drive um, because the camera is going to stay still and also it's not going to distract me either so I'll just leave it there to record and there you go I've decided to put myself in for a hair appointment on Friday I can resist but I think I'm going to go for something pretty wacky I'm not going to say I'm going to make it a bit of a surprise but I've not really had any sort of wacky hairstyle before hopefully I don't give into peer pressure and just go for my normal sort of um, but I'm going to try and do something a bit different also, if there's any recommended hairstyles that you think I should have, post below. Um, but the one I think I want is pretty cool. Might show a bit more of my personality. So this is my dinner. Three sausage rolls, I'll leave one for tomorrow. What was that? Three sausage rolls and two pieces of chocolate flapjack. That's a snack to me. It probably won't fill me, but it tastes so good. Mmm! So as you know, today I went out to buy some cricket equipment and I said I'd show you guys. So I bought a set of pads and a new helmet. My new helmet that I've bought is a Albion um, Elite Club sort of one. Um, it's what a lot of sort of lot of the proper sort of professional cricketers use. Um, I have previously had a Slaz new one, but all the these clip bits, so you see where them holes are inside the helmet, the clip bits have come off and I've lost them, so I can't really put the cage bit on the front back on. Um, so at the moment I've just been unscrewing them ones and unscrewing them ones because obviously it comes in parts because it goes inside the box. But that's the inside of the helmet, nice and uh, orange sort of padding, velcro padding that comes off, um, which you can put back in. With the thing I got some other padding, I got some uh, green Albion pads and I think I got some purple ones as well. So obviously if I do get too sweaty when I'm batting, I don't bat too often, but if, when I do get sweaty I can place the pads. These are the little... Um, things that hold the cage bit in place I've got some in with the box I got some Albion uh, helmet ear guard pads I won't be using them because I don't really need to use them and obviously the main point of well, one of the main points of the helmet is the cage um, or the second bit well, it's, all, it's all main anyway but yeah that's the cage and with it I got a free bag to carry it in if I decided to a nice uh, Albion carry bag pretty cool I might actually put my helmet in there but you can't really see that I also got some pads, Ugh. got some gun and more pads, I really wanted to get some grey nickels pads because as you know I have a grey nickels bat, um, I ended up getting grey nickels pads instead, I mean gun and more pads, chuck that over there, um, these were I think 48, um, quite cheap, cheaper pads, that's why I got them, um, I really wanted my grey nickels ones but they're like 70 quid, but yeah got some nice pads, nice solid sort of pads, um, 
I wanted thicker straps, so I've got a thicker strap there and a thicker strap there. The top one doesn't really matter because I like to have that through, but really on the back, I really wanted th sort of thick straps because my pads that I have at the moment, there's only one thick one there, a real thin one there, and a real thin one there, and it like, don't actually go on my leg. So that's the uh, that's one of the pads. Obviously, the other one is inside here. They are batting pads, not wicket keeping pads. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my helmet together, put my pads on, and uh, show what it looks like. So yeah, that's my helmet, um, Albion helmet, don't know if you can see that, but I'm pretty camera work and I can't see the camera, but yeah, pretty nice helmet, I will use it, hopefully I will use it, um, does the job hopefully, um, I reckon I can bat with this, I don't usually bat with a helmet like I said, but I think this year I'm going to take it a bit more seriously actually, but I'll take these little plastic bits off eventually, but yeah. Well I didn't realise when I bought it, it actually has like a clipper thing, so you can go... I mean, I'll do it with my right hand because slightly right handed. Okay, just take it off like this. Instead of having to sort of unhook it with the thing, the chin strap. But yeah, that's my helmet. Time to try my pads. So here are my new pads. So if you can see them, I can't really see them because not in view. Um, pretty nice, pretty snugly actually. I'll be walking around and they haven't fallen off unlike my other pads. The only thing is the flaps on my left hand, these are, this is actually my left side. Their flaps stick out more than on this side. Um, purely because my left leg is a lot thinner than my right leg. It sounds really weird, but obviously I've got a dominant right leg. Um, it looks like my arms, but um, obviously that's quite nice. I've had a good little practice with the bat, and it actually feel pretty nice. You can see that there we go. Helmet, pads, ready to go. Cricket bat. I reckon I can do this this year. Come on, score a lot of runs. My bedroom was tidy this morning, sort of, but now it's a mess again. But it's a mess with good things. Sport stuff, skateboards, penny boards, pads, helmets, cricket bats, it's all good. There, you've been dried, now you come back from your walk. I think I'm going to go outside and do my daily bit of daily, daily bit, daily bit, daily bit. That did not sound right at all. I'm going to go outside and do my daily bit of skateboard practicing. I'm busy all day tomorrow, so there's chances I probably won't have time to practice. I might in the morning if I get up, but I highly doubt I'll actually get up. What I'm basically going to do is I'm going to tell you like how I'm progressing every single day. Even though it's going to be very, very slow progression, I'm still going to keep telling you. So today, been out for 20 minutes, half an hour. And... Yesterday's clips, I was ollieing and I was holding on to the window ledge. I know it sounds really weird, but I was holding on to the window ledge, so I'll try and keep my balance. Tonight, I've been trying to do it without the window ledge, and I've not fallen off once. I've only let the skateboard's only gone like once by itself. My balance is getting a lot better on it now. I'm really getting used to the board. Um, as it wears in a little bit, obviously it'll become a little bit more easy to control, and when I get, well, obviously getting used to it. I don't know if this is a good or a bad sign, but um, where obviously you stand, you stand one foot there, one foot there. You can tell where my foot has been, it's been there, and to Ollie, my attempted to slide up zone is up there. Um, so as you can see, there is like a white patch here, and you can see where I've been trying to slide up to in the attempt to Ollie up here. Um, so there is like an actual sign that I'm actually trying to do what I'm going to do. Basically I'm just talking myself through the steps, pop, pop and then jump slide or slide jump, whichever way around it is. Obviously I can tell I have been, because if you look at my shoe there, there's a white patch, that is where the rubber or whatever has been rubbing off my shoes onto that board there. That should mean that I'm actually progressing just a tiny little bit. I won't do lengthy updates every day, just tell you what I'm doing. Some days I may not do any at all. So my sister's done something cool with the penny board. She's rocking it backwards and forwards on my skateboard like a little half pipe or a quarter pipe or whatever. This is entertaining. <laughs> Highlight of my Thursday night. It's not even Thursday. What? It's not even Thursday. Wednesday night then. Never mind. When you see this vlog, it will be Thursday night probably, so... Yeah. Technically, she's so alright. You know what? When I do these summaries at the end of my vlogs, I think I need a better background. It's a bit... A bit plain. Anyway, editing says vlog, I've realised that when I was driving in the car, on the way back from getting my cricket stuff, I said about the camera was a good angle. It was a good angle, but it was rattling, it was making a noise. Um, I'm going to try and... Well, oh god, your cup's been eating too many sweets. Oops. There's like a little rattle in the noise, and obviously I've put that in today, but I really need to sort of cancel it out if I want to record in my car again. Thanks for watching today's vlog. Um, give a thumbs up, usual stuff. Um, tomorrow I'm, I'm out the house all day, so I'll only have to record in the morning and the night time. 
but I will do my best for you guys. Check the outro out, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. <laughs>